hello and welcome back to my channel today is my may empties and declutters may honestly was so full of stuff it is the last day of may and i'm like oh i gotta get this done because tomorrow is june so i actually have quite a bit of declutters and quite a few empties as well more than i actually thought i didn't think may was going to be this successful based on how busy it was so let's jump in right away um, I'm going to start with declutters. The first thing I have to declutter is this top. I like it. I just don't wear it a lot and I'm going to see if my mom wants it. So I'm going to set it over here because just out of frame here is a pile that I have to give to my mom. The next thing that I'm decluttering, which I'm kind of sad about, is these pants. They're like jogger style with a a zipper on them they got a hole in them so unfortunately I need to toss these um, some more clothing that I am decluttering is I have these period underwear that have gotten old so those are getting unfortunately getting tossed as well and I have a bra that I um, don't wear anymore and doesn't fit right so I'm going to um, declutter that um, also, when I was cleaning out our coat closet, I found a Columbia fleece that I didn't know I still owned, so that I am decluttering as well. That can get donated, it's good, in good condition. And the last thing I have is this robe that I bought for uh, my friend's wedding. Um, I never wear it, so I wore it that one time, so time to get rid of that. Um, I was cleaning out my medicine cabinet, or my medicine, whatever you want to call it, it's not a cabinet, basket, um, and I found three expired medicines, um, so I can, um, our police station takes expired and medicines and whatever, they do a collection, so I'm going to drop those off there. Um, then I have two hair ties, I have this one that has ribbons tied around it, I might take the ribbons off and put them with my craft stuff, but then the hair ties can go. They're stretched out um, and not usable anymore. Um, next, I found two expired gift cards, unfortunately. So having to recycle those. And then next on my declutter, oh, I have another clothing thing. I have these tights. I am deciding to declutter these because I can't tell you the last time I wore them and if I really want nude fishnets, I'm pretty sure I can find them in a very short amount of time. So those are getting decluttered. Um, then I'm also decluttering this eye mask. Um, it went with a pajama set that I no longer have. Um, the shorts wore out a long time ago and I don't think I really used the top so that's getting decluttered as well. The next thing I am decluttering is the manual for my hair dryer. I don't need that, so that's going to get recycled. Then, some hair removal things. I have this wax same set that I can't tell you when I got. Um, it doesn't have an expiration date on it, but I've had it for so long, I don't think it's any good anymore and I just want to get rid of it because I don't use it so I'll like take it apart and recycle the pieces that I can and whatnot with that and then I am getting rid of this um, epilator I bought this hoping it would be a nice solution to someone who is lazy with hair removal but um, you know sometimes I like to have nice smooth legs and this didn't really work for me and it's just been sitting in a drawer for years so I'm going to get rid of this and then oh I, like I said I have a lot of declutters next as you may have seen in my shoe video I'm actually decluttering two pairs of shoes so I have these beautiful blue shoes I love how they look, however, they are so uncomfortable. So maybe somebody else they'll be more comfortable for. So I'm decluttering these. And I'm decluttering 
my Ronin style sandals. I haven't worn them for a couple of years and it's just time to let them go and then I can always find a different pair that may be a little bit more wearable. And then the last things that I have to declutter are jewelry. I have this snake ring. It's so cool. It's just really impractical. So maybe somebody will find it and love it. And then I have this. It's like one of those ring bracelets. Um, I tried wearing it the other day because I wasn't sure if it's something that I would still like to wear. And I decided, nope, it's just not practical for my lifestyle anymore. Okay, on to the um, empties, which I actually have quite a few of that I am kind of surprised about. So the first one is this candle, actually. It's an all is calm candle. I think it's a holiday candle. It's spice roasted chestnut. Um, it's to the point where it doesn't burn anymore. So I'm going to scrape inside out and then either repurpose a jar or declutter it. I'm not sure yet. So that is a project. Um, next I have two fountain pens, a blue and a black. They seem to run out around the same time. Um, I have an open set now of blue and black. That's my last set. So I'm going to invest in a nice fountain pen when those run out. So those aren't empty. I have a box of contacts. Um, I guess for the repurchasing candles, I'm not repurchasing. I'm going to use up what I have pens like I already said I'm gonna invest in a nice fountain pen contacts always a repurchase um, I have a thing of floss this one I had in my school bag um, it is only three yards of floss so it uses up pretty quick um, floss is actually on my project pan this year so and I still have plenty so don't need to repurchase that contact solution will be repurchasing I guess we're kind of going through this rapid fire um, and then next is this body wash. It's gigantic. If you can't tell, it's like larger than my head. Um, I think I got it from Target. It's a uh, Natrium body wash. I did not like it. It was too thick um, and like, I don't know how to describe it. Gelatinous. So I'm going to be purchasing something else. Maybe going back to my um, Burt's Bees one if I can find it. Um, then I have a bunch of minis. I have the Bliss Makeup Melt um, Dry Wet Gentle Jelly Cleanser with Rose Flower. Um, I didn't like the scent of this, so I wouldn't purchase that. Um, next face wash I have is a Grown Alchemist Gentle Gel Face Cleanser. I actually really liked this. It, when you put it on your face, it had kind of a tingle. However, um, the smell wasn't my favorite, but I would potentially repurchase this in the future. And then I have a pure get a lift firming facial cream. Um, this was nothing special, so I probably would not purchase it. Um, then I have a the ordinary caffeine solution EGCG something bottle this was like kind of fun to use at first but then it kind of got to be a chore to use it up so I probably wouldn't buy this I do love the little bottle with a dropper though it's very cute um next is this bare mineral strength and length mascara I hated this it was the worst the brush let's see if we can see okay so this is the brush it's like a weird shape. It went on clumpy. It transferred. I could not wait to use this up. Um, so I would not purchase this because I absolutely hated it. I'm going through some of my mascara minis um, now because I had, I think, four. So I'm using up those. Um, next, I have this Jurgens Ultra Healing um, Lotion. Um, I actually really like this. This is something I would probably repurchase in the future. Um, next is one that I got from one of my students is a glycerin dry hand relief. I don't know, like hand cream. I just use it as like a body lotion. Um, 
oh it's bath and body works um i don't think i would repurchase this it was fun to use when i have it but i do not need it and then the last thing is this Madison Reed Color Therapy Colors Colorless Conditioning Hair Mask. Um, I actually really loved this. Um, it made my hair feel amazing and I probably would purchase this in the future every once in a while. So I definitely am thinking about purchasing this in the future. So that is everything um, for my May Empties and Declutters. I hope you enjoy. And I'm hoping June will be just as successful, especially with the declutters. So I will see you next time. Bye.